How's it going everyone? Welcome to class. My name is Yahaya and for today's class it's going to be an intermediate level flow. I, we're going to get started in a seated posture. So I encourage you to take your time to make sure that you're actually comfortable in your seat so that you set a nice tone for the rest of your practice. I'll meet you in a nice comfortable seat. See you there. Good, and once you're seated in your comfortable seated position, bring your hands to your knees and bring your awareness to the base of your spine. Good, keeping your attention there, focus on your breath as well. Good, and as you Ground down through your seat, lengthen your spine and soften your shoulders. Keep your focus on the base of your spine and your breath for five more breaths. Very good, bring your hands to prayer. Take a moment here. Really dial in and bring your awareness to your mat, to your body before we begin to move. Take one breath to seal that focus in. Good, and bring your hands back to your knees, open your eyes. And let's start seated with a few gentle movements here. Inhale, take your arms up. And exhale, bring your arms back beside your body, onto your fingertips. Inhale, take your arms up. Look up. And exhale, your arms back beside your body. Good. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in and go up. Keep pressing through your seat. Look up. Bring your hands back beside your body. Good. Just check that your spine is long, shoulders relaxed. As you inhale, lift your right arm up. And exhale. Take a nice gentle stretch to your left. Good. Try to soften your left shoulder down. Rotate your right hand inward, so pinky coming in. Good. On your next inhale, start to come back to the center. Release your right arm down. Keep your length in your spine. Take your left arm up and use your exhale, side bend to your right. Uh, keep your lower belly engaged. Take two more breaths. And rotate your top pinky inward. One more breath here. Start to come back to the center. Release your left arm down. Inhale and take your arms up. And exhale, fold it forward. Good, have your fingers out in front of you and just can bow your head here, tuck your chin. Good, if you're sitting on a block or a, any prop, you can take it out and continue to extend your arms forward. You should feel a nice stretch in your entire back, your lower back, middle back, upper back, even behind your neck. Awesome. Stay on your fingertips and start to go to your right. You're gonna kind of 
Feet to your fingertips to your right. Keep stay in your fold. Very good. And now start to come back to the center. Good, and go to your left. Good, completely focus on your breath. Nice, as you inhale, start to come back to the center and walk your hands towards your body. Very good. So if you have your block, just keep it nearby. You're gonna turn and sit, have your heels as close to you as possible. Bring your hands beside your body, fingertips facing forward. And you're gonna lift your hips up, come into a reverse tabletop. So you're trying to get your hips as high as your knees and your shoulders. But as long as you're working and you feel an effort, you're in a good spot. Now focus on some quality breaths here. Good, squeeze, lift up until you feel your butt engage. Take one more breath. And with control, start to come down. Very good. If you were sitting on a prop, you can come back onto your prop. Very nice. And you can sit in your cross-legged seat. We'll move into a twist now. Bring your hands beside you, tense your fingers. Inhale, take your arms up. Use your exhale to twist to your right. Good. Bring your left hand to your right knee and use your right arm behind you for balance. Very good, and try to look the way that you're twisting. Have one more breath here. Good. Leave your left hand where it is. Bring your right arm around to your left knee. Good, so a nice X shape here. And you might already feel a nice stretch in your shoulders. If you'd like a bit more around your upper back, tuck your chin. Good, and breathe steadily here. Have a deep breath to finish. Make your way out. Good, and bring your arms back beside your body. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale to your left. Good, bring your right hand to your left knee. And use your left arm behind you for balance. But our spine is able to twist the most from our middle and upper back. So ground through your seat and focus on the top part of your spine twisting. Very good, now leave your right hand where it is and bring your left arm around to your right knee. Good, from here, can Tuck your chin around your upper back.
take a deep breath to finish. And start to make your way out. Bring your hands back to your knees. Good, and just lift your shoulders up and back. Nice, high as you can, round it, and then switch directions. Now lift it up, forward, down, and around. Very good, and rest. All right, from here you can transfer onto your tabletop position. Good, once you're in your tabletop, just check your alignment, make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Now tuck your toes. Good, we're gonna start to open the bottoms of our feet. So gently take your hips back towards your heels and come back forward, shoulders over your wrists. Good, take it back, hips towards your heels, and you don't have to go so far, go till you feel some nice sensation, and then come back forward. Good, go at your pace, and of course, if a spot feels good, you can stay there for a breath or two, but do continue to move. Very nice. Take one more from wherever you are. Good, and then shift forward. Keep your toes tucked under and take your hips to your heels, come up. So here you can bring your feet much closer. You can keep your knees slightly apart and just try to have make it so that all 10 toes are tucked underneath. Nice, so here, Hopefully you're feeling a nice opening in the ball mounds of your feet. And if you're not, maybe your, your feet are just nice and open and that's okay too. Good, have a few breaths here. If this is uncomfortable, of course, you can get out and come back in. You don't wanna put your body in too much stress. Good. We'll be here about three more breaths. Take this time to let the bottom of your feet open. Very nice. Now plant, shift forward and plant your hands down. Step back to your plank position and go to downward facing dog. Good, once you're here, start to pedal your feet out. Drop your left heel down, lift your right heel up. And now switch sides. Good, continue to go side to side at your pace. Keep pushing through both hands. Good. Take about three more steady breaths here. Good. One more breath coming up. Keep your navel pulled in towards your spine. Good. And then hold in a regular down dog, both heels working towards the ground. On your next inhale, shift forward to plank. Good, stack your shoulders over your wrists, feel all 10 toes tucked underneath, and then go back to downward facing dog. So it's very easy to have your hips drop below your shoulders in your plank. Shift forward to plank again, and just make sure that your hips stay as high as your shoulders. Round your upper back, squeeze your glutes a little bit. Good, and keep all that engagement as you go back to downward facing dog. Good, look between your feet or up towards your belly button. We're here for two more breaths. Very good, separate your feet as wide as your mat and start to walk your hands to the back of your mat. Good, come into a ragdoll position. Have your feet as wide as your mat again and just bend your knees. You can hold onto your elbows. 
Let your, the top of your head go towards the ground. Good, feel free to add a nice bounce, a gentle bounce. Or a sway from side to side. Good. Have a deep breath to finish. Let your arms dangle down. Keep your chin tucked in and slowly come up to stand. Good. Once you're at the top of your mat, have a moment here. Face your palms forward. Stand in your mountain pose nice and strong rooted in your feet but soft in your shoulders but try to keep your gaze between your eyebrows good and let your arms be heavy beside you take one more breath Let's start to move a bit here. Breathe in and take your arms up. Look up. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in. Take your arms up. Connect your palms above your head. Look up. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good. Last one like that. Breathe in. Take your arms up. Breathe out. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body good let's add a forward fold now breathe in take your arms up press your palms above your head as you exhale fold forward bring your hands beside your feet you can bend your knees to help this happen come up halfway and lengthen your spine i encourage you to bring your hands to your shins if it's hard to keep your hands on the ground exhale fold it forward plant your hands back down beside your feet Inhale and take your arms up, connect your palms above your head, look up. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Come up halfway and breathe in. Send your chest forward, shoulders back. Breathe out and fold forward. Breathe in, take your arms up, look up. Bring your hands to the center of your chest and beside your body. Good. Last one like that. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Come up halfway, breathe in. Fold back down, breathe out. Inhale, take your arms up. Connect your palms, look up. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest and beside your body. Good. Let's add a little bit more movement now. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Step your right foot back. Drop your back knee and lift your chest. You can be on fingertips. Go back to plank position. Drop your knees down. So still keep your lower belly pulling in towards your spine. Shift forward and bring your chest down to the ground. Connect your forehead to the ground as well. Untuck your toes. Lift your chest up for cobra. Keep gazing at the top of your mat or your nose. Take one more breath here. Elbows. Bring your elbows in towards your ribs. Now go back to downward facing dog. Have a breath here. Look between your hands and step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee and lift your chest. Very good. Step to the top of your mat and forward fold. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head, look up. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. 
and beside your body. Good. Inhale, take your arms up. Let's get the left side. Exhale, fold forward. Step your left foot back. Drop your back knee. Lift your chest. Go back to your plank position. Good. Drop your knees down. Keep your strength. Keep your elbows in as you bend your elbows. Lower your chest down and your forehead. Untuck your toes. Lift your chest. Go back to downward facing dog. Good. On your next inhale, lift your step your left leg forward. Drop your back knee and lift your chest. Use your exhale to come into a forward fold. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head, look up. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good. Let's do one more round just like that. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Step your right foot back. Drop your back knee and lift your chest. Go back to your plank. Good, you can drop your knees or you can lower halfway down and then untuck your toes and lift your chest. Good, from here back to downward facing dog. Have a breath. Good, step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee and lift your chest. Step forward and fold. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Let's get the left side. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step your left foot back. Drop your back knee, lift your chest. Go back to plank. Lower halfway down. Untuck your toes, lift your chest. Good, use your exhale back to downward facing dog. Have a breath here. Look forward, step your left foot forward. Drop your back knee and lift your chest. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good. Nice. Awesome. Let's come into a chair pose. Bend your knees, take your hands down and up. Good, as you exhale, fold forward. Come up halfway and breathe in, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands down, step back to plank. Same thing here, you can use your knees or lower halfway down. Untuck your toes and lift your chest, let your thighs and your knees hover. Soften your shoulders down. Now go back to downward facing dog. Awesome. Take three more breaths here. Try to look between your feet or a little higher up between your legs or at your navel. Push with all 10 fingertips and your palms. Good. Look between your hands, walk your feet forward. Come up halfway and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, take your arms up, look up, press your palms together. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Let's start with the chair pose again. Bend your knees, take your arms up. Good, and fold forward. Come up halfway, breathe in. Plant your hands down, step back to plank. 
exhale and lower halfway down untuck your toes and lift your chest go back to downward facing dog take five breaths here about two more breaths it's okay to have a slight bend in your knees as you push through your arms and drive your hips back one more breath here look forward and step to the top of your mat come up halfway and lengthen your spine fold it forward again Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head, bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Very good. Have one breath here. Awesome. From here, let's open up the sides of our body. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your hands above your head and leave your pointer fingers out. Take a side stretch to your right. But if you're facing the camera, I'm gonna mirror you here. Good, so you're gonna let the left side of your body open up. Keep pressing through both feet. You wanna feel pretty grounded there. And pull your navel in towards your spine. Sometimes our top shoulder comes in. Try to keep yourself open. And then you really should feel the opening in the side of your ribs. Good. take one more breath extend your arms come back to the center now go to the opposite side check in on your feet stay rooted there keep your navel pulled in towards your spine stay engaged in your core good and just make sure to keep your chest open have one more breath Good. come back to the middle and release your arms good so from the top of your mat inhale take your arms up exhale fold forward come up halfway lengthen your spine plant your hands down step back to plank position lower halfway down or all the way down untuck your toes and lift your chest go back to downward facing dog good right away shift forward to plank and we're gonna go with a side plank over your left hand there's an option here to drop your left knee down just for a little bit of support but for the full version you're gonna roll over onto your left hand you're gonna st and stack your right foot on top of your left foot look up at your top hand and focus on your next two breaths. Look down, come back to your plank position. Go back to downward facing dog. Have a breath here. Shift forward to plank. This time go over your right hand and there's always that option to drop your right knee down for support. Good, from here have two more breaths. If you can, look up at your top hand. Come back to your plank position, take your time. Go back, downward facing dog. Very good. From here, drop your forearms down to the mat. Good. keep looking between your feet and now look forward towards your thumbs 
Walk your feet forward a bit. Nice. We are here for two more breaths. You should feel your forearms pretty connected to your mat. Good. Keep driving your hips back. Push through your forearms. Let your chest shine through. And release your knees down. And take a child's pose. Very good. Have one more breath here before we continue. Nice, and I'm gonna offer headstand or a headstand prep. Good. If you have the practice, you can get into your headstand. If you'd like to work towards headstand, you can interlace your hands, press your forearms down and press Put the top of your head onto the ground and simply hold here. Get used to this position just like this. If you'd like a bit more, lift your head off the ground, tuck your toes, and come up very similar to the pose we just did about a minute ago. Good. You can hold just like this, head off the ground, but you're still inverted. Good, and of course, if you're in your headstand, I'll meet you there now. You can stay here for five more breaths. So it is called headstand, but you should, just for the safety of your neck, push into your forearms as well so that your arms are taking some of the weight. Awesome. Now try to focus on the two more breaths. Good. wherever you are, make your way into a child's pose, nice and gentle. gentle. <laughs> Good, and you can keep your arms extended or bring them beside your body, let them rest. We're here, two more breaths, soften everything down. Very good. Come up and lay onto your back. Good. Once you're on your back, we're going to make our way into shoulder stand. You can use your arms to help you lift up. Good. Support yourself. Have your hands on your lower back or your middle back. Try to lengthen your body up towards the ceiling. Good, keep pointing through your toes. So for today, I'm gonna offer a little bit of play here in your shoulder stand. You can scissor your legs forward and back. Good, as far apart as is available to you. You can even play with taking one leg almost to the ground or to the ground and switch good and then maybe apart and in good but the whole time keep your entire body engaged keep pointing through your toes or through your feet good and then Come back to the neutral position, extend your body up. Keep the engagement throughout your body as you lower into plow pose. Bring your feet towards the ground over your head. Maybe they touch the ground, maybe they don't. Find a spot that works for you today. You can bend your knees to your forehead or to the sides of your head. Good, but even though you're all folded up in here, take two more breaths, try your best to, to 
breathe, to breathe as deeply as you can. Good. Take your time to come back. Lengthen your body up. And then gently come down. No rush. Once you're done, once you're down, lengthen your body out and rest. Good. From here, let's move into our fish pose. Bring your arms underneath your body with your palms facing down. So try to get as much of your arms under you as you can. From here, point your toes. Try to have your feet as close together as you can. And lift your sternum up towards the ceiling and take your gaze towards the back of your mat. Keep pointing through your toes. Try to lift your chest and open your throat. Good. We have three more breaths here. If you can keep the lift in your chest, you can also play with lifting your feet up. Try to keep your legs straight. Good, take your time to come back. Release your arms and rest. Take one more breath and make your way up to sit. Good. From here, sit nice and tall. Flex your toes towards your body. You should feel your quads engage. Your entire legs are engaged. Inhale, take your arms up and keep all this engagement as you fold forward. Good. Even in your fold, stay engaged. Whenever you're building flexibility, you want to keep your strength as well or build your strength. Because flexibility without strength is very dangerous. <laughs> it can lead to a lot of injuries. And same thing with strength. A lot of strength, no flexibility. is da a dangerous place to be as well. I keep flexing your toes towards you, lengthen your spine, tuck your chin and fold. Have one more deep breath here. Very good. Come up halfway, lengthen your spine. Come up all the way. Good, and sit nice and tall again. You should feel a good amount of weight, even weight on both sides of your seat. Good, let's get into our next posture. Bend your right knee in. Take your right knee out to the side and connect your right foot with your left inner thigh. Inhale, take your arms up and fold over your left leg. Maybe you're holding your shin area or your left foot. And same thing here, tuck your chin in, have a few breaths.
very good start to make your way back up bring your right knee in and straighten your right leg out let's get the other side left knee in take it out towards the left and connect your left foot with your inner right thigh inhale take your arms up use your exhale to fold forward good fold over your right leg and have about five breaths here try to keep close attention to each breath that you take breaths to go here good breathe in and come up bring your left knee in straighten your legs out awesome let's get into some back bends We're gonna start on our backs you can lay onto your back bend your knees have your arms beside you and start by lifting your hips up gonna take a few breaths here really let your hips shine up towards the ceiling when you feel your glutes start to engage that's when you know the efforts happening so really lift up very nice take two more breaths keep lifting rise it up Press into your feet, push into your sh the back of your shoulders. Nice, and release it down. Good, I'm gonna offer that one more time. That's the uh, first option. Next up, you can also try to work on your wheel pose. Good, so either come up for bridge, or if you're with me, bring your hands beside your head with your fingertips facing towards the top of your mat or toward your feet. But give yourself enough room. You want your hands as well, at least as wide as your shoulders. Now lift your hips up and start to push and lift your entire body up. And here you want your chest to drive through your, your hands. That's the direction they're going. And keep focused on your breath. Maybe tuck your chin. Good. Take your time to come down. Straighten your body out and have a breath here. Good. Make your way up and you're going to tuck your toes and be on your knees. We're going to work into our camel pose, more back bends. First up, lengthen your spine. Bring your hands to your lower back. Support yourself here. And start to lift your chest up as you gently work into this back bend. Drive your hips forward. Keep your lower belly engaged. Squeeze your glutes a bit to protect, to protect your lower back. Good, and maybe drop your hands to your heels. Good, and have one more breath here. Gently make your way out. Good, and the next version here, untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet into the mat. Inhale, take your arms up, and press your palms together, cross just your thumbs. Good, keep all this length, engage your lower belly and your glutes a bit and start to work into your back bend. Good, take your time, breathe the entire way.
Take your time to come out. Bring your hands to prayer, center of your chest. Good. And from here, you can sit onto your shins. Have your heels just outside your hips and your knees as close together as you can, maybe even touching. Good, I'm gonna work into hero's pose. From here, you can start to take your torso backwards, use your hands for support, and see how far you go. Maybe you stop here. If you have a little more, you can come onto your forearms, and this is a great place to be as well. You should, you might feel a nice stretch in your quads, front of your hips. Good, which are all very important for back bends. And maybe you go all the way down onto the back of your shoulders. Good. So whichever position you choose, you should feel an effort happening, but also an, an ease about it. As you see, I can talk to you right now. <laughs> so if you can have a conversation, then you're in a good spot. Not that you should be having a conversation, of course. <laughs> Focus on your breath. Good. If you'd like to add your arms, take your arms up, press your palms together. Very nice. And release your arms back beside your body. Take your time. Take it in stages, maybe back to your forearms first. Good. And then make your way up. Good. From here, come to sit. Straighten your legs out. And we're gonna move straight into a twist. Nice long spine, cross your right leg over your left and plant your right foot flat. As long as you can keep your right foot flat, maybe try bending your left knee in. Use your inhale to lift your left arm up. Keep this length in your spine and twist to your right. You can wrap your left arm around your right leg or take it past it and use your right arm behind you for balance. Very good, take a deep breath here. On your next inhale, come back to the center. Straighten your legs out, let's switch sides. Cross your left over your right, and this time maybe bend your right leg in. Good, inhale, take your arm, right arm up, and use your exhale to twist to your left. Good, same thing here, nice long spine, relax your shoulders down, and exhale as you twist. So just a reminder, our greatest twist comes in our middle and upper back. So focus the twist from there. On your next inhale, come back to the center and straighten your legs out. Very good. You can move into your downward facing dog any way you can. Good. And have three breaths here. Focus your gaze. Very nice. Walk your hands to the back of your mat into a squat position. 
good. And we're going to go straight into crow pose. If you'd like to work on the prep, plant your hands down, shift forward a bit, lift your heels, and slightly shift forward till you feel a good amount of weight in your arms. Good. You still have the balance of your legs or the support of your legs, but place some weight into your arms and really feel your knees on the back of your arms. Nice. So here, a lot of core happening. Pull your navel in, round your spine, push your arms. And if you have your crow pose, of course, you can sh continue to shift forward and lift both legs off the ground. Good. And try to bend your knees in as you push your arms. Take one more breath. Gently come out and back to your squat. Very good. Plant your hands down, walk out to your downward facing dog. Look forward between your hands and step to the top of your mat. Come up halfway and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold it back down, tuck your chin. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head, look up. Bring your hands to prayer and beside your body. Good, have a deep breath before we continue. Use your inhale to take your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Inhale halfway up, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands down and step back to plank. Good, as you exhale lower halfway down or all the way, untuck your toes and lift your chest. Go back to downward facing dog. Good, and take three breaths here. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend your right knee, open your hip. Good, so keep pushing through both hands evenly, especially your right hand on this side. Good, come back to your neutral position, three-legged dog, extend that top leg, and guide your right knee behind your right wrist towards pigeon. Good, untuck your back toes, lift your chest. Good, first option is to stay here or drop your forearms down. You can, from, from this position actually, you can rest your forehead on a mat, on a block or extend your arms forward and rest your forehead on your mat. Take a deep breath to finish here. Good, bring your hands just in front of your, well, yeah, just in front of your right knee. Tuck your back toes and go back to downward facing dog. And let's work the left side. Inhale your left leg up. Bend your left knee and open your hip. So on this side, Try to push through your left hand a little more. Keep that grounded. Very good. Take one more breath. 
come back to neutral, extend your left leg and guide your left knee behind your left wrist. Untuck your back toes, lengthen your spine. And see where you're gonna hold on this side, maybe forearms or arms extended. Good, have one more breath here. Very good. Gently make your way out. Plant your hands. Tuck your back toes and go to downward facing dog. Good, take five breaths in this down dog. And on your next inhale, shift forward to plank. Drop your knees down and come to sit. And lay onto your back. Okay, start to allow everything to settle down. And the reason I say allow everything is because we are in control of so much. You can consciously relax your heels, your calf muscles. You can choose to let your knees soften your hips and your glutes. Let them melt into your mat. Okay, let's keep working our way up. Soften your lower back, your shoulders. And allow your arms to really sink beside you. Feel the back of your head supported. Let your neck relax. Good, here for about one more minute. Every exhale you take, try to soften a little more. Start to deepen your breaths. Good. 
good and make any movements that you might need to help you come up into a seated position no rush you can move your head side to side point and flex your feet or circle your ankles same with your hands and your wrists good and whenever you're ready you're gonna come up to sit maybe you sit on a block like I am or on a bolster a blanket just try to sit comfortably and once you're set, close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees. And have five breaths here to end class. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. Be sure to express gratitude to yourself for your efforts. Gratitude for the practice of yoga. And let's end class with Om. Inhale to prepare. Namaste, peace, and I hope to see you next class. Thank you for watching.